guys, welcome to Hormone Schmormones. It's taco night and today we're gonna be making jackfruit tacos and gardein fish tacos. All right, so we're gonna be making some quick pickled onions for our tacos. Super simple recipe actually. You wanna start with your base, which is gonna be a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, about a teaspoon of salt, and just under half a tablespoon of sugar. Let's take a whisk, let's whisk it up and let it dissolve and then set it aside. And I'm gonna use my mandolin for this. With a quick pickle, you have to make sure that everything's sliced really thinly or else it won't work. This one only takes about 30 minutes to pickle. So I'm just gonna quickly slice with the mandolin. So once you're done your slicing your onions, throw them into your pickling liquid. And you wanna make sure they're all um, submerged. So I'm just gonna give it Stir to make sure the liquid's touching everything. And then basically you just cover, unrefrigerate for at least 30 minutes more if you can, that's great. The longer the better, uh, but they'll taste pretty good after about 30 minutes. Now we're gonna be making my personal favorite taco topping, vegan red cabbage slaw. First, you wanna take about half a red cabbage, quarter it, and using either a mandolin or a sharp knife, you wanna cut these as thin as possible and make sure that you remove this core over here. So once shredded, you should end up with about two cups of cabbage. You do kind of got to separate all the little pieces to make it coleslaw-ish. I only use a quarter of this cabbage and I've got my two cups. So it really depends on the size of your cabbage. The next thing you want to do is get your dressing ready. So I've got a quarter cup of vegan mayo. You need the juice from about a small lime, about a tablespoon. All right, this lime, I don't believe gave me enough, but we'll try. Uh, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And normally you can use fresh jalapenos. I don't have any, so I'm actually just gonna take a couple pickled jalapenos and chop them up finely and add this as well. So after the chopped jalapeno, you just wanna add a little over a teaspoon of maple syrup and then we'll taste it and see if we need a bit more. Okay, so just whisk that all together. Normally you'd have a proper whisk for this, but unfortunately I broke mine, so we are using a fork. All right, at this point, taste and adjust your seasoning as necessary. This tastes really good. The salt will, and the flavor will develop over time. So if it's a little bland, don't worry. So once your dressing's ready, just take your coleslaw and toss it in. For this, I'm actually just going to put the lid on this container and shake it. All right, so we got this evenly coated. Throw this in the fridge while we make the rest of the tacos and it'll be ready to go in about 30 minutes, but the longer it sits, the better it'll taste. All right, it's jackfruit time. So I'm gonna start with making the spice mixture that's eventually gonna go onto the jackfruit. So we're gonna start with two teaspoons of chili powder. If you're not into spicy, you can use less. And a teaspoon of paprika or smoked paprika. One teaspoon of cumin. And about a quarter teaspoon of salt. So mix that up and set it aside while you get your jackfruit ready. So I'm a really big advocate of getting everything prepped before you start cooking. So we're gonna work on our prep. You're going to small dice a medium to large yellow onion. Then you're gonna mince four cloves of garlic and you can mix it in with the onions because we will saute them at the same time. onions and garlic aside and we will get the jackfruit ready. So you're going to get two cans that are about 400 milliliters or four ounces of jackfruit in brine. Make sure it's jackfruit in brine and not sweet jackfruit. You can still use it, but it's not gonna taste that great. So you just wanna drain your cans. The jury's out on how to properly cut jackfruit. Personally, I like to take the seeds out. It takes absolutely forever to take the seeds out. So today I'm not gonna take the seeds out, but I will be cutting out this core piece on every little piece, just because it's really tough and doesn't give you that kind of shredded texture. So I'm gonna start with cutting out all the cores 
And then I'm gonna work on shredding the jackfruit and cutting up the seeds. Once you've cut the cores out of your jackfruit piece pieces, you can actually go through it and physically just start to shred it. It's a very fibrous fruit, so it goes into little shreds. In this case, I am using the seeds, so there might be kind of chunky seeds, but what we'll do to kind of mitigate that is hit it with a wooden spoon once it's cooking, and it should deal with the seeds. The seeds are actually quite large. I'll find one for you, there it is. Pretty big seed, but it is squishable and tastes just like jackfruit, so there's no sense in wasting it since we already cut the cores out. And once your jackfruit is shredded to your liking, you can go ahead and take your spice mixture, get that ready, and start sauteing your onions and your garlic. We're going to heat a big pan with some olive oil. It's about, I don't know, about a tablespoon and a half. And once that's heated, we're going to saute the onion and garlic that we prepared earlier for about five minutes. Once your onions are translucent and the mixture is fragrant, you can add your jackfruit. Oh, I'm making an absolute disaster. Try to get most of it in the pan rather than out of the pan. Just give it a good mix and then add in your spice mixture. Juice from a lime. Half a cup of vegetable broth. About a tablespoon of maple syrup. Give it some sweet. And then a teaspoon or two of liquid smoke to give it some smoky. So we'll give this a good mix. We're gonna let this cook down until all the liquid evaporates. And it should take anywhere from about seven to 12 minutes. Just gave it a taste, felt like it was lacking a bit of salt, so I'm just gonna add a bit of uh, tamari. You can use regular soy sauce if you're not gluten-free. And we're just gonna keep cooking. All right, so we're at the point where the liquid has evaporated. We wanna let it continue to cook and start crisping up at the bottom, so I'm just gonna leave it. I did increase the heat a little bit. We'll just leave it, mix it every so often, and just be really careful because it can burn very quickly. I'm also gonna add a bit of crushed chipotle just because. It's delicious. This is a really strong spice, so be very, very sparing with this. And you are looking for brown bits. Brown bits equals delish. Just try not to burn. All right, it's assembly time. So I'm gonna start with, I ended up having to buy prepared guac, but you can get regular avocados. Unfortunately, our local store did not have ripe avocados. And keep in mind, you can use any topping you want. We made the pickled onions and the coleslaw today. You can have salsa, you can have none of the above. Avocado, I find, is pretty key in the recipe um, just because it's great, and especially with the fish tacos, it's really good. You can use any combination of any toppings that you like. I'm gonna add some slaw to both. And right now, I'm just assembling the jackfruit tacos, and next, we'll do the fish. And a little sprinkle of the pickled onions we made earlier. Squeeze a fresh lime. And the jackfruit mixture. I'm using corn tortillas, so this jackfruit recipe is uh, gluten-free. If you're using corn tortillas especially, they do tend to rip, so I just flashed them in the oven that was still warm uh, from the fish for about 30 seconds, just to give it more pliability. And we have jackfruit tacos. All right, so now we're going to assemble our fish taco. Now, I didn't make a fish substitute. You can use hearts of palm, which we'll try in another video, but for the sake of time today, I've just uh, cooked the Gardein fish fillets. Um, vegan, of course. Cook as per package directions. And so I'm gonna take one fillet for each taco and cut it in half. Spread some avocado or guac on each. And the slaw, I think, is really key for the fish for some reason. I don't know, it just is such a good combination with the avocado fish and creamy coleslaw. So I'm pretty much assembling these the same way as I assembled the last ones. I'm gonna add some jalapeno to these just to make it a bit spicier. But again, salsa, vegan sour cream, any of the normal taco toppings, feel free to use them. Some more pickled onions in there. A couple of pickled jalapenos, a squeeze of lime. 
And there you have it, vegan fish tacos. So it's a labor of love. It's delicious. Definitely try it. I took one bite. Should I keep eating it? I'm gonna keep eating it in front of the camera. Don't make me. Okay, so now we're gonna be. No, I don't like the. Okay. So <laughs> why should I start? It's the starting. Once I freaking start, I'm fine. Okay. All right, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, don't look at me. Turn around. It's you. So I only used half of. I used. <laughs> I only used half of the. Let me start again. I only used half. No, I only use a quarter. That's what I'm trying to say. Toki, get out of there. Yeah, like I could be laying on the couch right now and being like, rah, 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 but I'm doing this and like, it's fun and we eat such good food. Oh my God, it's gonna be so good. It is Toronto Zero, Boston One.